In this video, we're gonna show you how to add scripture and lyrics to those pre-recorded videos that we're gonna probably be live streaming pretty soon. So let's go. folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So this is a follow up to my previous video where we showed you how to live stream a pre-recorded video using OBS. Now, a lot of people have liked that video and I was asked, how do you add lower thirds or scripture to your pre-recorded stuff because most of the time when you're doing this you have a camera you're probably recording at your pastor's home in his office or whatever but how do you get the same functionality of adding scripture and all this other stuff to that video that's what we're going to do because i've done that with a bunch of other churches that i manage their videos and i want to show you how i do that so let's go ahead and cut over to the computer all right so we're here in obs and what we're gonna do is let's get everything set up. Now, first off, to do this, you need to have two monitors set up. That's what I'm using right now. I have OBS um, running on one screen for right now, and then I have Worship Extreme right here um, on the other monitor. And what we're gonna do is get all this stuff prepped so we can actually have everything going. So let's go ahead and clean out everything and we can show you how to get this all done. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we need to add our video like we had before. And I'm just gonna get a um, some sample video and I'll just call this um, pre-recorded. And let me see if I can find a video that we can use. All right, so we, I got a video actually from last Sunday, so I'm gonna use that just as an idea. Just that's all we're using this for. All right, so let's go ahead and add that and let's fit this to size. All right, so that's what you're gonna have in the background. Now, honestly, before you do this, try and write down as many scriptures or songs that you can, at least that way you can be prepared in the future before you actually have to get here and you're not trying to do this on the fly. So we got that set up. Now, the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a capture of the monitor a display capture and we'll just do that monitor two all right so we're going to capture the monitor that we're on right now now we want to make sure that this is in front of the other ones all right now what i'm going to do is from a lower third standpoint you can do whatever so solid color that you want i'm going to use a black background in um, Worship Extreme for this to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a filter on it right now. Um, or a color key, excuse me. And we're gonna remove black because that's what's gonna be used for our background. All right, so we're good. That's all we need right here. All right, so now we got everything up. We got changed actually out to a different video um, that actually <laughs> simulated this a little bit better. So as you can see, the video is playing. We have our screen that's gonna be capturing Worship Extreme ahead of it, all right? So let's now bring over Worship Extreme. Now, what you would do inside of this, just make out your whole cue list of everything that's gonna be going in. This is why it's good to know ahead of time what's gonna be used, the list of scriptures, the songs, any stuff like that. So I'm just gonna throw some stuff together um, real quick. Now again, I'm using a black background, makes it easy, but again, you could do color if you want. You can put a lower third bar if you want to. It doesn't matter as long as you have it all planned out. Um, either one will work for you. So let's say, let's, I'm gonna do music on this one, um, which I don't really think I'm really prepared to actually have it here. But let's see, let's edit this and we're gonna do the lower thirds of like scripture. Yeah. All right. So say we have our opening hymn. 
we have another scripture and you get the concept of how this will work and now this would also work if you're doing a full screen so let's add something like that let's do a full screen song um, as well so you got to be careful that you don't have black in that because of how we have OBS set up so let me see if I can get something with a whole lot of color in it maybe this one will work good and let's do another scripture in here let's do John 3 and we'll just do the entire book all right so now that we got this done, I'm gonna slide this over and I'm just gonna be running this just like I normally would. Now, and let's switch back over to OBS. Now, how I have OBS set up is to restart this whole thing. Cause what the idea is you want to bake all of this stuff into the file and then we're gonna be, instead of streaming with OBS, we're gonna be recording it with OBS. So check your settings with that, whatever works best for you. I know right now um, these settings are not right. So what I wanna do is change this to 60. And my audio is good. And I wanna change the method I'm using for record, recording because I'm leveraging my GPU for this. All right, and that works for me. That's what I know what my settings are. So even if we wanted to test this out real quick, I'm going to not keep OBS on the screen because this is the one that's gonna be recording. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is let's make another scene real quick because we have it set to where it will restart. Because again, we wanna record the entire file so that way we know how everything is gonna flow. So. That's why it's good to prep your file here. So I'm gonna switch over to this and I'm gonna just switch back to that scene so that I know how everything is doing. So you see, I'm gonna go ahead and start recording and let's now drag this over. Let's turn on the Worship Extreme screen and I'm gonna have these side by side on my screen so that I can run Worship Extreme and this at the same time. All right. So as you can see, I have Worship Extreme and everything going. Now we're recording. So let's switch over to our scene. So now our stuff is running. All right. So if I come over here and say we're doing our opening chant of He is Lord, I would just in Worship Extreme. And as you can see, there it is. Now I shouldn't, <laughs> I should have changed the source of how I have this song going. Um, so that's not a good example because it's cut off. But as you can see, now I'm recording this and the lyrics will be built in. Let me switch it over to some scripture that will work better. So as you can see, I'm recording the entire service with the audio that's going in. And then now I am adding our scripture in and it's recording and adding all of that stuff together. So if I just keep switching through these and all this other stuff, and let's say we go to a scripture in this full screen. Now, this is the one where I might have to turn the filter off. So again, I should have picked something better that didn't have a black background, but as you can see, that would work for me. You know, the video is still playing in the background because you can see the pre-recorded audio is still going. You know, and then I can come in here and clear that out. But as you can see, everything works fine. So again, you just gotta be careful on what input that you actually decide to use when you're doing this. So that way you can avoid all these <laughs> black screens and stuff like that that I had. So let me come back over here real quick and let's see what the video looks like. So let's go ahead and remux this. And then let's open this up and let's see what it looked like. All right, as you can see, here's the recording. Now you wanna make sure when you do this that you have the same um, quality that's being recorded because you don't wanna go from a high quality video and then when you add this stuff, it gets shrinked, um, shrunken down. All right, so as you can see, it shows up very well. 
Now, what we have to do now is, now that we got our file done, we're gonna come back in here, turn off the secondary monitor, because we don't need that anymore. We recorded everything and baked it into the final file. So now we're gonna come in here, and now let's switch it out with the file that we just recorded. And there you go. So now you can live stream your pre-recorded video that has your lyrics and lower thirds built into it using OBS and actually <laughs> adding this stuff in live and just recording it. So um, that's one way to do it. Now, honestly, this is a faster way to do it compared to what I used to do. What I used to do is video edit and in post-production, add all this stuff in, and it just gets kind of tedious. Um, it's good to be able to do it on both. If you have the ability of being able to do this and you have prep going into it, running your worship stream or your presentation software or whatever over top of the video works very well. Um, so at least for the people who asked how you do it, there you go. So hopefully that was clear and I wasn't confusing in it. But again, like I said, I have used that method multiple times. I've used this for sporting events where I had to add scoreboards later on. Works the exact same way. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps. And for those people that asked for it, there you go. So anyway, if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.